Yes, what's on your mind? I thought I said I don't want to talk about it. Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. I suppose you're right. Fine, then. But I, I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well on the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I'm mean, not gonna stop them. I could have stopped it all. Don't even start with that. I don't feel sorry for myself. I feel angry at Saul and all those others. It's all I can think about sometimes. I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go! You there! Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll! Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Of course, I'm sorry. You're probably here for something important, right? Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. I'm only warning you for your own protection, Upwelder. The villagers infected with the Rukgor disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. Please, help us! We're infected with the rat ghoul disease! At any moment we could... Uh, no! This cannot be... No! <laughs> something else. Please, please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. Go then, Upworlder. Leave us here to die, abandoned by everyone.
Why have you come back, Upworlder? Do you come to mock us in our suffering as this disease destroys us? He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rackles are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. You monster! How can you say that? Somebody do something! I'm sorry, Hester. There's nothing we can do. It's too late for Hindar now. No! Hindar, no! Don't speak to me, Upworlder. You could have saved Hindar. You just stood there and watched him die. You're as selfish as all the rest from the surface. Please, just leave me alone with my grief. A horrible fate for poor Hindar. I warned him not to leave the safety of the village. But I couldn't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls were so close. I had to protect the village. But enough of this grim talk. We must focus on the positive if we're to survive down here. How can I help you, Upworlder? I'll open the gate for you, Upworlder, but you've got to be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again for the safety of the village. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me, even the Becks won't help me. But I can't just leave him there, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Listen, my friend Zalbar is in serious trouble. So you can forget about me helping with anything else until I get him back. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I didn't mean to leave him. I thought he was right behind me. I'd never abandon Big Z on purpose. Please, help me get him back. Hold on a second. Don't just brush her off like this. Gadden said this girl's the only one who can get us inside the back base. Please! There's nobody else who can help me. Listen, if you help me get Zalbar back, I'll help you get inside the Volker base. Come on, what do you say? Hold on a second. Don't Please! How can you be so stubborn? When you're ready to help me with Zalbar, come on back. Because you'll never get into that Volker base without my help. I can't ask Gadden. He's always telling me not to go into the Undercity. He says it's too dangerous with the Rat Ghouls and Gamorians and all. He'll never send his Bex down there.
It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Hey, Karth. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Her. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big Z's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. I'm here. Help. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing, like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! I can feel it! to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Trying to pick a fight with a Mandalorian. I can see you're not too bright. But I'm on a mission for Davik, so I don't have time for fun and games. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Normally, I'd make you regret those words, but I'm not wasting another minute down here. I'm responsible for this whole company, and they won't survive down here much longer. Come on, boys, let's move out! 
the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the Promised Land. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. I offer you wisdom, and you turn me away? Perhaps you are not ready to accept the role you must play in the destiny and salvation of my people. Very well, Upworlder. Return to me when you are ready to learn what you must learn. <laughs> <laughs> 